Around the world there are dozens and dozens of people working in laboratories on potentially very exciting microwave projects. But the question is, how do we take those projects from the laboratory through to full-scale implementation? AMT has done this successfully over many years and I'd like to share with you our approach to that. So first of all, I'm assuming that you've already established a technical advantage in using microwaves. The first step is to then determine how much energy is going to be needed for the project. That will determine the connected microwave power, so how many generators are needed, what the operating cost is going to be. It will give you an idea of the practicality of the project and also the frequency. Now most of these small scale projects use either domestic microwave ovens or at least 2.45 gigahertz, which is the domestic frequency. Now most larger scale projects move from 2.45 gigahertz to 915 megahertz, which is a much more appropriate frequency for large scale projects. So this needs to be clearly established right from the start, how much energy is going to be needed and what the final frequency is going to be. The materials handling approach is also another very important factor to be considered, whether it's uh, going to be using a conveyor or a screw conveyor or a fluid bed or pneumatic conveying or some other form of materials handling. It's important at this early stage to establish what that is going to be because that's going to dictate the, uh, what the applicator and what the design of the system is going to be. Now once you've established those things, the next stage is to undertake some small scale trials. So you need to have your materials handling system designed to handle a small throughput of product. And once you've got that done, we can then undertake the trials which will establish accurate energy levels. It's very important to get these accurate levels. At this point, you will then determine whether the project is feasible. So the third important stage in scale up is large scale trials. At this point, we would need to design a specific applicator and materials handling system for your process. Using that design and getting it manufactured, we'll then use AMT's high powered microwave generators to put the system together and allow large scale trials to be undertaken. Now it's during these large scale trials when you can really begin to sort out if there are any materials handling issues or microwave power density issues and get a handle on what are the important process parameters without having to invest in your own generators. This process or stage can be done on site or at our facilities. The final phase of this work is the implementation. So that will involve the detailed design of microwave and materials handling systems, the design of a control system, and the manufacture of components, the installation and putting together of those components, and then commissioning. 